each one of us is a bundle of stories, some of which might even be true. I love music stories. One of my favorites is about a group of Tibetan monks that were brought over to record an album with Nikki Hart, who was the drummer for the Grateful Dead. There were 21 members of this choir and they performed in the San Francisco Bay Area. The Grateful Dead manager, Danny Rifkin, was driving them in a large van and they started to pass San Quentin Prison. At this point, several of the monks started shouting, trapped souls, trapped souls. And they asked what that building was off in the distance and had to have the meaning of prison explained to them. At that point, they refused to go any further until they could perform the necessary ritual. Rifkin drove as near to the prison as he dared, pulled over to the shoulder of the road, and the monks got out to perform a puja, a prayer and chanting ritual. They chanted to bless the caged spirits and souls of those who were trapped in the prison. Before they could go on, the monks managed to get a promise from Rifkin that they would return and do a more formal presentation in the prison. And three years later, the group returned to the Bay Area. This time, there was some skepticism from the prisoners. They were afraid that these monks might start proselytizing. But it was explained that the Chinese government had imprisoned the monks who escaped through the Himalayas with cloth tied around their feet for shoes and forced to live far from home without any hope of ever returning. The inmates felt a certain camaraderie with the monks, who had only prayers and songs to sustain them through their struggles. The monks and the large men sitting from them, across from them, looked at the vulnerability in each other's eyes and the chanting began. It is at first an unearthly experience the first time you encounter Tibetan chanting. The prayers continue for some unpredictable period of time, it seems, with rumbles so low, it's hard to believe that humans actually create those sounds. When they were finished, the large black men embraced the sl slender ones in saffron robes and a sense of camaraderie ensued. In subsequent years, a gospel choir developed at San Quentin and Mickey Hart went back to record it. They recorded three albums together and when the prisoners released, were released, they had a new way of looking at the world. They had moved from trapped souls to recording artists. <laughs>